नमस्कार दिस इज अखिलेश भार्गव वेलकम टू टिपिट्स ऑन बिजनेस एंड फाइनेंस विद मी विद द सेंसेक्स क्रॉसिंग अनदर हाई ऑफ 60000 टुडे द इंडियन स्टॉक मार्केट्स कंटिन्यू टू बी ऑन अ रोल विद सरप्लस लिक्विडिटी लो इंटरेस्ट रेट्स एंड द ल्योर टू मेक अ क्विक बक इन व्हाट वी कॉल अ वेरी फ्रेजाइल एंड रिस्की मार्केट द स्टॉक एंड मार्केट इंडाइसेस कंटिन्यू टू टच न्यू हाईज वीक आफ्टर वीक The shares of many heavyweight large caps, led by the likes of Reliance Industries, Bajaj Finserv, Bajaj Finance, HCL, Larsen and Tobro, Kotak Bank, etc., are all at all-time highs, and they look unstoppable at present, despite their present valuations making little sense to us. Boosted by favorable global cues and the feeling that the Indian economy has now bottomed out, and that the only way ahead for it is rapid growth. the raging bulls are in charge at present even though many themselves in our opinion do not quite believe in these super inflated share valuations and they have been indulging in profit taking and sell off from time to time the slightest of good news becomes an issue for the bulls to charge further such that the indian stock market price rise today exceeds that of all other comparable global markets the indian economy on which the stock market fundamentals ought to be based may not be outperforming its global peers but its stock markets do so at the moment the nifty has outperformed the msci world index by 6% for the second consecutive month and it has also surpassed the msci emerging markets index for the fifth straight month and if you go by what the bulls think then they expect it to continue for the coming months also The MSCI World Index is dominated by the likes of USA, Japan, France and the UK and their stock markets have now been lagging behind those of India since August. In this quarter of July to September 2021 itself, the Sensex has now gone up by 14% and despite the hawkish news from the US Fed that it will begin to taper off the US bond purchases from November, which is it will start withdrawing the surplus liquidity that it has pumped in and that it will complete this process of withdrawing surplus liquidity from the markets by the middle of next year despite that that liquidity is going to be withdrawn and november is not too far the indian markets yet surge ahead yesterday the bulls even found the news that the chinese giant evergrande's payment default has been momentarily averted to be worth a cheer despite the fact that the risk of its collapse and the risk of a contagion and a spillover in the global markets very much remains and is not gone the fact is that the stock market valuations and prices have not yet peaked today despite the stocks being at all time highs and the bulls actually expect them to continue to surge further that's the kind of mood in the markets today since the large caps are overvalued and they are at all time highs the markets now expect a surge in small caps and in the mid caps to fuel what they think yet another market rally with the die hard bulls therefore predicting that the sensex will touch 1 lakh in the coming times like in any other market prices are a factor of demand versus supply and that is the case with the stock markets also in simple terms the current demand for shares in the indian stock markets is certainly far in excess of its supply and hence the price surge continues there's too much money chasing too few stocks and much as we find the present market indices to be without any solid foundation of fundamentals let us therefore examine the reasons why the bulls are roaring and the stock prices continue to surge the first reason is that there is excess liquidity sloshing in the system and it is a case of too much money chasing too few stocks as we said it is not just the domestic investors and domestic institutions that are pumping money in the stock markets and are buying shares but so are the foreign institutional investors and so is money in the form of fpis they have bought in over 8 billion dollars in the last quarter itself and they continue to do so particularly after the reallocation and reduction of foreign investor exposure to the chinese markets because of which more money is flowing into the indian markets millions of new retail investors have entered the indian stock markets 
hunting for gains and that has been fueling the stock market prices. A record number of DMAT accounts and broker accounts have been opened showing that retail investors have joined the fray in a big way. The second factor, the fact that interest rates are low and other interest, other investment avenues such as real estate etc are not in flavor with the investors at the moment. That has brought in more money into the stock markets, almost being the only asset class which is attracting investors today. Then the fundamentals that have encouraged the investors to come into the markets in big numbers are many. The first one, companies have built operating efficiencies. They have improved productivity. They have increased their market share and they have reduced their debt during the difficult Corona times. And they are thus expected to record better sales, better profits in the coming years. And that is a reason why the bulls believe that the prices today, they will look high. But when you look at it from the future performance, they look reasonable to them. The second fundamental, as a result of improvement in corporate performance, markets are showing resilience and are thus unmindful of the high valuations. The third fundamental, the fears of COVID are receding. That has been on account of the increased pace of vaccination in India. And because of that, movement is taking place, lockdowns are gone and domestic demand is picking up. The next fundamental supporting the rally is that with the fears of Corona and the lockdown receding, the economy has bottomed out and going forward, it is expected to continue to grow. And finally, there have been improved tax collections. Further, the investor expectations that are fueling the stock market rally are also many. They are numerous in number. Let's discuss them. The first one, an expected revival of animal spirits and investment in new projects backed by improving demand and low interest rates is expected to take place. The second, those watching the high frequency data expect a continued pickup in the economy. The third, experts rule out any severe correction in the stock market as any potential bad news from global factors according to them will not be bad enough in order to roil the stock markets. Policy announcement by the US Fed and also by the RBI that there will be no sudden withdrawal of liquidity or increase in interest rates and that it will be a smooth taper by them and not a sudden tantrum that can crash the markets is also supporting the rally. And finally, the feeling that the Evergrande crisis is now put behind and that things are better and that things have settled and they have been managed well is also supporting the present rally. The reality and the risk of a stock market prices is that they can collapse too. And that lies in the fact that the huge valuations today are dislocated from the real economy and that there is a huge gap between the ground realities in the Indian economy and in the stock market prices. It is certainly a speculative rally as we see it, whose collapse will leave a trail of personal bankruptcies and corporate failures in India. The reasons why we think so are also numerous. Let's talk about them. The first reason, the key macro of the economy, which is fresh investments, employment, government and consumer spending remain weak and they do not indicate a surging economy, a surging demand in our opinion. The second one, cost cutting and productivity gains of corporates will prove to be temporary due to the rise in commodity prices and because of the increase in labor costs. The third one, why we think that this rally is not truly correct is that the MSME sector which constitutes a large part of India's GDP and it is a big demand generator is in the doldrums. Demand is not really coming from that sector. Last year's increase in demand after the lifting of the lockdown turned out to be temporary. And once the pent up demand was over, it ultimately petered out, which can even happen now. And the economic recovery whose perception is fueling a surge in prices will suddenly go away. Urban poverty and joblessness is rising among the salaried class. And thus, any notion of a sustained demand to us looks unlikely. The share valuations are too high and are completely unsustainable as is seen from historical data and it may have no scope for a further upside in our opinion. Further, when an alternate investment item like real estate catches the fancy of the investors, they will move away from their present craze for the stock market investments and prices will come down. 
The liquidity withdrawal by the US Fed starts from November, which is not far away. And thus, the risk of a lot of hot money flowing out of India's stock market is real and it would be round the corner. To us, the positives that are fueling the market rally are short-term and temporary, while the negatives that we talked about are real and not temporary and they will take time before they go away. And that is where, in our opinion, lies the risk for the investors, presently blinded by what we call the Sensex at 60. This is Akhilesh Bhargav signing off till we meet again. Namaskar.